today, this it's VO2 max is really what I start to look at. And that's something that fell off the radar for a while uh, from what I've seen in the labs, you know, and we see over the years, we've had a, a big push in zone two and mitochondrial health and LT1, lactate threshold one uh, with, with more accessible lactate testing. So we've seen a lot of that stuff come about for endurance athletes. And that really sort of took the spotlight for a number of years. And <laughs> VO2 max got pushed on the back burner a little bit. But, um, you know, the concept has been around for decades. And, and it's, it's really when we talk about longevity and health, it's, it's a huge predictor. The higher your VO2 max, the better your quality of life. You know, and that's something that yeah. I always, yeah, try to try to bring into the coaching with someone, whether it's um, someone highly trained or or relatively new in different age groups too. 